This programme contains strong language from the outset and throughout. I met Emma when I was, when I was on Jolie's show. I was actually doing a photo shoot and I met her. And then we started messaging. We were messaging for months. Everybody's looking for a girl like you. Started speaking. It was like hours on the phone, pretty much every night. Messing there for ages. And then she, she was like, she was in Leeds, I was in Newcastle. So I was like, I'll drive down. And she cancelled. And I was like, I'll drive down to Leeds. actually cancelled. And I think it was Boxing Day, I was like, I'm on the way to Leeds, so I'm, si I'm, I'm coming to the house, I'm seeing you, it doesn't matter if you want or not. And then that was it, went for a first little bit of food in Frankie and Benny's. <laughs> and then things got a little bit more serious, and it was just at the time when I was starting to think about leaving Jody Shaw. I'd started seeing Emma by this point, and then, yeah, found out she was pregnant. I'm trying to remember back, I think we'd just finished film and Jolie show. Um, I think I was with Aaron at the time actually. Emma ran, she was like, I've done a pregnancy test, I'm pregnant, and I was like, what? But yeah, it was a shock, mixed with happy, worried, scared. I rang me mom. <laughs> when I found out that Gary was going to be a dad for the first time, I was really excited. I was really happy for him, because I've always known that he would make a good dad. So I was just so super proud of him. So he's gone out and he's come back in and he was quiet and I was like, what's the matter? And then he was like, Emma's pregnant. But yeah, I literally found out just after he did, which was mad. You can't be going in to film Jory Show when you've got a baby, like on the way. So I knew at that moment that was going to be his, his last series. It was definitely the, the moment I knew that the Jory Show career was over. We can't do it. One of the best things about Joey's show was the friendships. I don't think you can have friendships like that unless you've experienced it together. And I think that's why, weirdly, it was like a family because families argue, but they care about each other at the same time. So we've all got this like bond. When any of us get together, people around us can say, like, honestly, it's just electric. Like, we can't stop laughing. But we all get along so well when we're together. We all care for each other in our weird, wonderful way. Please let mine fly, please! Oh, yes, it's up, look! Yes! yes! Oh, look! my God! Yes! Yes! yes, get in, success. I wish that we always have a wicked time in this house. Stand on the beach and watching that lantern fly away, there's no place I'd rather be right now than with this lot. I loved everyone, and I hope we can make loads more wicked memories that we already have. Jolly Show was, was just me. Just loved it for years and years and years and years. It made me where I am right now. <laughs> and I'm so grateful for it. And I had the best 20s. I don't think anyone will have a better 20s than me. It's not weird. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm so settled now, because it is just out of my system. Can you dip it down? Oh, Can you wait the tune? Oh, 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 oh. I was absolutely gutted when Gary left. Absolutely gutted because he was the only boy I was so close with then. I was sad to go, but I was ready, ready for that next chapter. Hey guys, it's Marnie here. If you want more Jodie OJ videos like this one, then don't forget to like and subscribe now. What are you waiting for?